Okay, to do this question we need to remember the sign rule. Now when the unknown is an angle, I always write the sign rule with signs at the top. I just find it a bit easier. So it's sine A over A equals sine big B over B. Now it doesn't matter where you call A and B, although I always put the unknown one on the left hand side. And the lowercase A needs to be opposite the higher case A, or the uppercase A. And so we're going to call B there. B needs to be the angle and little b needs to be the length. OK, so we are putting what we know. So sine x, equal, uh, sine x over 6 equals sine 35 over 7. And we're going to put our lines in. OK, so we're going to times 6 both sides. So we get sine x equals and we end up with 6 sine 35 over 7 and then we get inverse sine both sides so x equals the inverse sine of 6 sine 35 over 7 and you could have worked out what that was um, before we hit that step so I'm going to get my calculator inverse sine fraction 6 sine 35 over, oh, I need to close the sine bracket, over 7, close bracket, and I get 29.448, blah, blah, blah. It's two decimal places, that would be 29.45.